Magnolia fully embraces the front-end development paradigm and makes the most common tasks fast, easy, and available via simple text files. We call this light development. Up to 100% of an enterprise CMS project can be completed by front-end developers. Since everything is based on simple text files and modern front-end dynamics, you'll get up to speed in no time. You can leverage the expertise you already have, the text editors, IDEs, and tools you are already proficient in, and integrate the build processes that you've already established. And all your work is directly available in source control systems like Git. Magnolia works the way you do. Light development is designed for true productivity, based on years of project experience and developer interviews. To summarize the key benefits for developers, you can learn the fundamentals in an hour, project development is fast and enjoyable, it doesn't get in your way, and it supports collaboration between teams and between back-end and front-end developers. So how does it actually work? To quickly get you up to speed, I'll cover six key topics. Content authoring, pages, areas, and components, modules, templates, the CLI, and JavaScript frameworks. A key function of a CMS is to empower people without development skills to create, edit, and manage the content. Let's take a look at the author experience in Magnolia to give the development tasks more context. The Pages app is the main address for organizing the hierarchy of pages in a site and the content on each page. Which content to display is easily controlled by authors with dialogues. Note that the content itself can come from anywhere. It can be entered directly, like in this text image, or it can come from another content app in Magnolia, such as this asset, or come from an external backend system or web service. But no matter the source, the author uses dialogues to manage the content on a page. Templating is structured with pages, areas, and components. When an author creates a page, they choose from one of the available page templates and configure it with a dialogue. A template can define one or more areas where components can be added, like the main area here. When an author adds a component, they choose from one of the available component templates and configure their component with a dialog. As a developer, you provide the templates and the dialogs and define which components are available in the areas. How? All Magnolia projects are built with Magnolia modules. Everything in a project, from templates to apps to integrations, are packaged in either Java modules or Lite modules. A Magnolia Lite module is just a directory of files. Magnolia interprets these files via logical naming conventions and picks up all changes immediately. With Lite modules, development is as simple as downloading the Magnolia server and creating your files in the right place. Now I'll add this sample light module to the Magnolia resources directory, this light modules directory here. I can see from the logs that Magnolia has noticed the files and registered the contents. So I'll switch back to Magnolia and the pages app. And now when I add a page, I can see that this new page template from the module is available. So we'll add this page. And in the area, I can add the component that's supplied by the module as well. Light modules are handy for packaging functionality for reuse on other projects. For example, a website component to display a map. You can find and share light modules on NPM. So how hard is it to create a template? Not hard. A template has three key files, a template definition, a dialogue definition, and a script. Let's look at the component template provided by Hello Magnolia. The template definition makes the component available to the system. It references the dialogue and the script. The dialogue definition defines the fields and tabs for content entry. Whatever the author enters in the dialogue will be stored to the repository with these names. The template script provides the output, typically HTML. It's easy to access the content the author entered in the dialog fields. You can see the field names we saw in the dialog. 
While not used here, a template can also interact more deeply with Magnolia or external systems via a server-side JavaScript model file. Which components can be added to an area is defined in the template definition of the page. The area is defined and the available components are simply listed here. What is the development workflow like? Let's make a change to the quote component. We'll add a source for the quote. First, we'll add a new text field to the dialog. We can copy the existing one and just rename it to quote source. Uh, save. And now if we open the dialog in Admin Central, the new field is there. So let's enter a source for the quote and save it. But the quote is still not showing up on the page. Of course, we need to implement the field in the template script. So we'll edit the script file. And here we can copy the cited person fragment and change it to access our new content. Quote source. Save that file, reload the page, and bingo. You've now seen the key principles of light development in Magnolia. That's really all you need to know to get started creating and modifying templates. I hope you agree that it is pretty slick. But still, even if everything is clear and straightforward, it is a bit repetitive to create these files for every new template. If there was a CLI like many of the front-end frameworks have, Introducing MGNL. The Magnolia CLI doesn't just automate template creation, it assists you at every step of your project, from downloading and starting the Magnolia server with the jumpstart command, to creating light modules and adding template availabilities. Check out the CLI intro video for more information. I've shown you Magnolia server rendered templates, but light development supports client-side rendering with JavaScript frameworks like React and Angular too. A key benefit is that Magnolia does not force you to use one approach, but provides you with the logical building blocks and no obstacles to integrate your client-side JavaScript frameworks or implement another headless or decoupled approach. Component templates can include Angular apps that an author can manage with a dialog. Magnolia includes out-of-the-box REST endpoints, and developers can provide custom endpoints too. Alternatively, Page templates can output JSON instead of HTML so that a front-end developer can use exactly the same techniques to create a custom REST endpoint. And that is light development. In closing, I want to say that Magnolia goes as far as your project demands. It scales with your needs, which is why it's popular in the enterprise. If your project is straightforward, you can accomplish all or most of it with light development. More sophisticated, there's no limit to the integrations you can achieve with Java development, from connecting to your existing backend systems to customizing all of the core Magnolia features. Just like a CMS is about empowering content authors, at Magnolia, we've extended that philosophy to all users. With light development, we empower front-end developers to do their job fast, fun, and easy.